Hello everyone, in today's video we're gonna see how you can package design anything that you want using a website called Pagdora where you can find all kinds of templates and die lines and also mockups to showcase your products. So before we're gonna start doing that, make sure to subscribe and comment and leave a like. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's go ahead and open a browser and the website is called Pagdora and as you can see it has more than 4,900 packaging templates and die lines and also mockups. So this is pretty much all in one when it comes to packaging. As you can see it's all about packaging in Pagdora, which means that you can find all sorts of products like bottles, cookies, like uh, for fruit deliveries and things like that. Anything that you want, you can find it in here. If you are working for delivery, you can have like boxes that you can get the templates and die lines for you to design. Using Illustrator or Photoshop, you can just download them and design your own logo and slogan too. And then you can send it to the printer and you get it ready or you've are working with a client you can just download the templates from here and then you can show off your final products using the mockups which you can use also uh, by making it as a video that uh, we're gonna see in here in a little bit so for us we're gonna head to the templates and die lines and here as you can see you can have uh, all this uh, that you can use like for boxes or something but for this one i think i would use like something like cookies packaging so let's google cookies and pastries in here and i can see you have all sorts of um, packaging for cookies and the lights or pastries but for me i think i will go with something simple like this one or maybe yeah i think i would go with something like this like a big pack of which would be, for this example, it would be cookies. So I would one click on it, and as you can see, it will open a new window. And here where I can download these die lines. As you can see, this is all the, the measures, the dimension that, that actually you're gonna send to your printer. You can see it have like the bleed and the margin and all the things that would be in front and in the back and also you can put like text or something like this in here all right so let's go ahead and download this tie line you can just one click on it and as you can see it will give you like the color mode where you want to download this which color mode you want to download this tie line you can download this as an ai for illustrator or as a dxf that you can use for a 3d kind of uh, format but for me i would go for pdf because i'm just gonna use this in photoshop and also you can switch between rgb if you prefer to work in rgb so i would keep it same way k for now and i will just click export now and wait for my download to load as you can see and in a minute it will give me a, a window that you can download this as you can see i have the download in here so i will just choose my folder i already have like a, a folder that is called pakdora so i will just save it in here i won't change the name so i will just click save and start download all right now when i go to my folder i will find the pdf in here uh, that's uh, include all the dimensions that i will be following to create this design so i will just take it and open it in photoshop can just drag it and choose in here the image or the pages you can even choose the from this one but i think they are just the same so i will just press ok and there we go we have our dimension and also the bleed and everything as you can see it show you a guide for where is the bleed the bleed is the green one that is usually outside you know when you send the, this to a printer it actually lets the ink to bleed for it to be complete when it comes to the cutting. So it's better to use this guide to put all 
let's start from here to put all the colors and everything in here and the main important design it should be inside in this blue trim so this is where the trimmer will trim from here so and this is the bleed and of course the crest is where in the front of the design it would be this one and also the edges where you can put text or something like that but for me i already have like a pasty ready because i don't want to make this video very long to design something which is not something very very fancy i already did like a quick like design for this cookie template as you can see i put in here some lorem ipsum like you know maybe it will talk about the cookies and what it can contain like as a gradient or something like that and then here i did like a kind of preview of how the cookie will look like and also i, I did a splash of a chocolate with some cookies flying around with some chocolate uh, pieces or chocolate chips as you can see it's not something very very fancy but for uh, for this it will work and as you can see i just put cookies classic since 1998 something very simple okay so when you are ready with your design you can just as you can see instead of uh, using this i just put like some rulers to show me where I should stay inside the design as you can see you can just press ctrl r or command r and it will show these rulers in here and you can just drag one of them and just follow the the same of the dimension that you have from the pdf all right now i'm happy with the, this design so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna crop it using the crop tool or oh, and i will just follow this edge in here and i will just go and crop it where the box end like that yeah something like that and they can always adjust the cropping by zooming in this way i can just make sure that it's follow the box that i have in here just like that i mean another way to do this let me just press escape you can just select this rectangle that i have in here like the main one you can just press ctrl command and one click and this will load the selection of the whole box and then you can just switch to your your crop tool and it will directly follow the same selection that you have of the box and there we go you have like a very accurate crop that it will follow the selection and you can just press enter for you to crop and enter and this will crop it exactly where the, the selection was all right now i'm gonna export this so i'm gonna go to file and i will choose save as i mean i usually usually you can save it as a simple k or maybe as a tiff for the printing to be very good with the very rich with the tones and everything but for this i just want to show you how you can show off your your products in the in the website using the markups that they already have so i would just save it as a png and let's call this cookie pack 2 and there will be save and there we go we have our file in here saving and then i can go back and there we go we have our design as you can see all right now we will go back to our website and then we're gonna go to uh, the go back to Pakdora and in here you have actually you have to be a member or you have like an account for you to go to this workbench so after you create your account and everything you can just use the same I mean I didn't uh, name this so let me just name it as a uh, let's see okay back I mean, another way to do this, you can just go directly to the mockups in here that you have on top. And again, search for cookies, pastries, and then you can find the same uh, mockup or the same template that we use, which is this one, as you can see. You can just 
go to edit and this will open for you to actually upload the final design that you actually did in Photoshop or Illustrator. And in here you can actually uh, change the material of the the packaging how it looks like for example if you go for this plastic mat you can increase the metalness of it as you can see it doesn't look very it doesn't show now because it doesn't have any color or anything but for me i like this uh, plastic glossy in here i think it looks very very cool i like the reflection in here all right so let's go ahead and upload the image that we we just designed as you can see in here you can upload it like separately in each you can even edit your things in here but for me i like to just upload the image it's this one it's called cookie pack 2 and i will choose open and there we go it will load it now i can just make sure that it's snap with the edges and the bleed and everything you can make it fit like this and there we go and click save and there we go we have our pack cookie pack that shows and as you can see this is the text and this is the preview of the cookies that would be inside and you can add even more text in here if you want but this is a very simple design so for you to change the surface you can just open this and again play with this in here to add more like shadow or something like that and also the roughness of the reflection as you can see if you do like this it go away and the transmission i mean you get the idea all right next let's jump to the background in here you can upload your own background if you want or you can just use gradient in here that you can just see which one will work best for you Let's see. For me, I think I like this simple grayish or this simple like bluish gradient. I think it looks really nice. This one too, I think I really like this one that it has like blue and kind of orange color. And if you want like solid color, you can just go by a number of the color. You can choose it or you can choose it in here. But for me, I think I will go with the gradient. And after that, you can just go to the video for you if you want to show off your your final product for the client. You can just, you know, use one of these previews or one of these templates that will actually, that you can even render. As you can see, it's called Super Export. You can export it and send it to your client for you, for them to see the product i really like this one in here i think it looks very nice because it zoom in and show the product like this all right so i will actually render this you can just click super export in here and there you go you can even change the ratio of your video if you want it to be for the phone or something you can keep it one on one to use it on instagram but for me i think i will or in here you can make it like like this for the phone uh, render but for me i think i will do it like this and if you want for something that is very rich with the the colors and things like that you can go for slow speed but for me i will go for fast speed to render this so let's go actually to video and let's choose 16.9 and make sure that we are selecting this and this is the video that we are going to get all right so i'm gonna choose export now and we're gonna wait for it to render and there you go as you can see our video is finished and now it's allow us to download it so let's choose the right folder which is this one and let's call this video cookie pack okay and let's hit save and start downloading and now we're gonna go to our folder and there we go we have our 
video in here ready to be previewed. There you go, as you can see. It's a very good 4K video, but it's not very big in the format, but I mean, it might have a little bit of blinking, but it's you will get the idea of how your product will look like. Also, if you want to save a JPEG, you can do that, you can just export again. And in here you can see that all of this it will actually be a JPEG. And you can even zoom in and choose like the, the angle of it. For me, I would just zoom out a little bit and I would choose that one now for us to save the JPEG. And then we can go and open this. And as you can see, we have our JPEG in here saved. And it looks actually really good in a very good quality. So there you go, you have a video and a JPEG. All right, so after that, you can just save your work. And then you will have your design ready. If the client approve, you can just send the design to be ready for print. Alright, so I hope that you enjoyed and you like this quick tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for your next packaging product. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and have a nice day. Thank you for watching. <laughs>